Here's what the closet looked like when Liv and I bought this house, and this is what it looks like now. Here's how we got there. We had painted it white and replaced the flooring already, but it's just been sitting as a storage closet, so we decided let's clean it out, put new trim in, and first thing was to get that back wall looking better. We used a putty knife to scrape those peaks off because we were putting wallpaper on it, and just like that, we put the wallpaper on. And seriously, this was really easy. It's just peel and stick wallpaper. It was $33 for the roll, and it went on in about 20 minutes. I measured for all the shelves that were going to be going in, and Liv went to Lowe's and got the wood we needed, which was 8 foot, 1 by 2 pine boards, and we used MDF for the actual shelves. For the MDF and the boards needed for the project, it cost us less than $50. We measured, cut everything to size, and now our shelves are ready to be installed. I put a mark on the wall at each of the heights I wanted the shelves to be, and then I used the 1x2 pine boards, a level, and a nail gun to put in those frames. Doing this kind of framing for floating shelves is really quick and easy, and anyone could do it. Once all of the framing is in place, I just grabbed the MDF boards and dropped them right in. These medium density fiber or MDF boards are really great for painting and leave a nice smooth surface, so that's why we chose to use them for the shelves. I used the nail gun to nail them into the frame,